Welcome to another edition of Psychor PowerShell Extensions Training Series. I'm your host, Michael West. Today I'd like to talk about mixing C Sharp and PowerShell. We're going to create a here string, which is a, uh, something you can do in PowerShell, and two commands called add type and new object. As always, you can download the module from the following URL. Check out our blogs and contact us through Twitter. Go ahead and open up the ISE. To create a here string, you first start off with creating a variable. Let's call it code. Oh, that was Lucy. And this is what it looks like. Uh, doesn't matter where th this piece. Uh, this text shows up in the line however the end portion of it the end of the double quotes and the Elias symbol these have to be uh, left justified and nothing in between so that wouldn't work cool thing about here string is that it maintains the integrity of whatever you put in there as you can see Of Michael space uh, new line west. This is great because if we want to um, have some structured text in PowerShell, this would be the best place to put it uh, versus you know some other variable like this where you couldn't really do a new line. Uh, PowerShell wouldn't recognize that too well. So what I want to do now is write some code in C Sharp. And we're going to create an awesome namespace uh, with an awesome class. And I'll create um, a method do something awesome and then create a static method called do something awesome anytime okay um I'll go ahead and show you how to add uh, an enum because that requires a specific syntax when calling the method. So I'll show you that real quick. We'll create an enum and we'll call it awesome activity type. Uh, one awesome activity is doing nothing, another is sleeping, eating, and using. PowerShell extensions and this is just plain C sharp so nothing um, nothing too crazy here uh, we'll go ahead and return a string um, you're awesome This is like one of those your, your, your issues. Uh, your act awesome activity is and that's awesome. That's an activity. What we should see return from uh, do something awesome is your awesome activity is whatever we provide and that's awesome let's be text similar to what we see down here and the do something awesome anytime method um, um, yeah that's good <laughs> 
Sorry, I get lost in my thoughts and what I want to do. So uh, this method return this text. This method should return this text. Now, one thing to keep in mind when uh, using add type. Once we run this, we can't change it. We can't change the text in here. Uh, like you couldn't add another method. And that's a limitation with Microsoft.net. Once you've added a type into the app domain, uh, it can't be undone, as far as I understand it. Uh, so an option would be, uh, if you were to do this, you wouldn't be testing this uh, initially in PowerShell. You would be testing it like in Visual Studio. And then once you have what you want, uh, you would either copy it over into the PowerShell editor and save it, or you could save it to a, uh, a, a text file with the extension CS, and then use add type and load that CS file into the domain and execute the code that way. So I'll go ahead and run this real quick and uh, no errors, that's good. Uh, the next thing we'll do is create an instance using new object of the awesome namespace awesome class and here we can um, check to see what's there, what's available. We have do something awesome method in that instance. Uh, so called do something awesome, which accepts that type and we need to put that in brackets and it needs a fully qualified name therefore you need to put the namespace and now we have this is referencing this enum right here and in order to get one of these values you need to use the double quote uh, I'm sorry double colon and we'll put using SPE and cross your fingers and it worked. This notation is basically the same as when you want to call a static method uh, like if you were to do math um, dot absolute you would do it that way. Uh, therefore we'll do the awesome namespace awesome class and do something awesome anytime and there we go that was pretty straightforward and let me show you the error message you would get if you tried to extend it um, let's change this there there and there. Can't add it already exists. So you'll have to figure that out on, on how to make that approach. But um, this is just a really simple example and if you had coded it right the first time then you wouldn't run into that kind of problem. The solution however is to reset the application and then it would allow you to make those changes. Uh, but once again, my recommendation, you know, you could code it in Visual Studio, you'd get all the IntelliSense and all the fancy wizardry that you'd get in Visual Studio, and then you just copy and paste it in here, or like I said, use the CS file. And that's it for today. If you have any questions, once again, you can contact us through Twitter, and always check out our blog. See you next time.